All right. Uh, welcome to another episode, ladies and gentlemen, of The Intellectuals. I'm Poseidon Guido Grasso J. Uh, across of me. And we have a serial farter in our midst. I would like to address the people of the nation of what this man did in public. Adam. We all fart. We're all human, but we have some decency. This man oh, no. outside in front of eight people announced he was going to fart at the top of his lungs. What do you mean? I'm going to... Bro, he did this. He was right next to us. Okay, because okay, hold on. Outside the building, people Out- smoke cigarettes. Yes, there's outside other the building, there, there's people. There's people. There's people outside. They're <laughs> chilling. We're chilling. This guy shows up and he goes, "Guys, I'm going to fart." In front of everyone, turns around, looks at him. He moves five feet over, and this is how his ass made. <laughs> is that true, Adam? Bro, you don't understand. <laughs> I was so angry. Yes. Like. And I am kidding. a notorious farter. I love uh, farting. Yeah, in my apartment, <laughs> in my apartment, I fart, bro. But in public, like that, that you was fart in public too. And and uh, yeah, but nobody knows about it. Let, oh no, no, you've been caught <laughs> farting. Let the record. You've been show. caught I farting, man. Yeah, you don't announce it, but you've been caught farting. You fart a when lot. When have I been pu- caught? In public. Whenever you get caught, you, you fart a lot in public. <laughs> I never get caught. Yeah, but, you but, get caught but I got caught uh, once at the H and M. No, you get caught more than H and M, and then I have to call. You, I go, did you fart? And then you do that face that you make. You okay? I've never he, farted in the studio. But he also announces his farts. Him? Sometimes he does. I don't announce. I don't remember him announcing. I always catch him. I go, did okay, you fart? And you then catch he has that later. face where you okay, know that he farted at your apartment once. Yeah. No, that he's just adding. Apartment. He's like H and M, your apartment, the studio. H&M. Once, just, yeah. I used to love to do that. Um, shout out to Debbie Santelli. My we used to love to fart in H and M. No, I used to go into. Uh, <laughs> so you know when you shop with your girlfriend. So as I was asking um, the uh, you know the the people working there for uh, anything, uh, whatever shirt, uh, do you have? Uh, I would let out fucking. Uh, a loud. Oh, London you're a psychopath. And 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 while Debbie, they're talking. Debbie, as I'm saying hello to her and asking a serious question, I am letting out destruction. Yeah, and you're a psychopath. Debbie, my ex, is on the floor hey. <laughs> behind me, falling because all I'm trying to do is make her laugh. Okay, but what was the what was the customer service lady doing? She couldn't believe I farted and asked her questions. And the, you would pretend like you never farted, right? It was <laughs> would good. anyone laugh or say, "Sir, that's disgusting"? They loved it. Really? For a second, I felt like Steve Martin in the '70s. It, I wish. What happened I, to your mic? He turned it off for a second. No, no, he just he did this. <laughs> this is was him. I wish. He just, <laughs> gave, up. He just gave up talking. <laughs> well, guys, um, in terms of classiness, I should get some credit. You have I the told. classiest. You should farts. get no credit. Should, yeah, no credit on classiness. I announced that I was going to do something disgusting. So at least you know. Why do you think that that's what makes it better? <laughs> so people, well. I would argue it makes I, it worse. I wasn't inside, it was outside. I would argue it makes it worse because you announce it. You're like, hey guys, I'm going to do something disgusting regardless of people being here and I don't care about it being disgusting, so I'm going to do it anyways. And I walked away, I just didn't walk away. Five Far feet! Enough. Sigmund Freud, uh, <laughs> the great uh, like, uh, Sigmund Freud psychiatrist, uh, uh, believe that Schindler's uh, list. When, when you, no, not that far away, maybe Vienna. With the talk Is about Israel, what even Israeli accent? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not Netanyahu and Gene Simmons, same guy. But uh, um, <laughs> when talking about um, a lot of toilet humor and excrement, um, Sigmund Freud believed uh, it had something to do with the mother relationship. Yeah, he thought that about everything. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he a lot of his uh, theories are say that again. He thought what? No. I won't. <laughs> you understand? Pay he, attention. He thought that if you were obsessed with flatulence, it meant that you have unresolved issues and you want to bang your mother. And, it's I'm not a, it's a, and, and, and uh, to bring the Greeks into it, uh, it was uh, a banging your mother about everything? Oedipus. Uh, almost. Like it was he, Oedipus, Oedipus complex. complex. You know that old saying, never go to the grocery store hungry or else you're going to fuck your mother? He's the one who came up with that. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know what yeah, that was. Pretty much. Not, 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 he's the one who came up with that. That far off. He would say it about almost everything, yeah. Sig- you didn't it was know always about yeah, your mind. He did, huh? Sigmund Freud. That's why they call it Freudian sl- uh, slip. Yeah. Because people, after a while, they're like, I think yeah. he's just talking to himself. Because in every subject, he would just be like, I don't know, like, uh, you know that when uh, you're riding a horse. And, and it's then like the you want to ride uh, your mom. Yeah. And then, yeah. And, then, and then the horse takes a turn. So you want to yeah. fuck your mom. And like, yeah. wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> that, is, that is exactly where <laughs> Freud yeah, is. That's where Freudian slip comes from. Oh, really? You didn't yeah. know. 
No, I didn't. Yeah, oh, that's interesting. Everything would go back to, and it was stuff that didn't make any sense. Really? Yeah. So you know when I you, don't know that about him. You know when you enjoy loud music and then you think about banging your mom? It's like, no, nobody knows that. <laughs> like, that's so you. I, that's a I, you I, thing. Always. Uh, I had a guest once that wanted to bang his mom, obsessed with banging his mom. Yeah, yeah he told you. It's a, it's a, it's a category. He probably went to the grocery uh, store hungry. It's a category in, in <laughs> Pornhub. You need to stop, sir. Uh, <laughs> why? Like he went to the. Um, that's a. Yeah, Sigmund Freud. I'd like you guys to tell uh, me let what the record he was show. From, as he's way. saying that's sick. Germany. As he's saying that's weird, yes bro. No. That's weird. Huh? Yes Not twenty no. minutes ago. I'm sorry. Are you gonna say it was Austin Hungarian? He was, Hungarian he was showing us yes. a big tit girl breastfeeding. Yeah. As he was saying, hey, 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 hey. He showed us breastfeeding. I sorry. find it. I find it weird because it's the TikTok guidelines, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, they could show breasts if they're breastfeeding, which is fucking weird. Like. Yo, actually, his timeline's getting better because he used to show him kids that just got off breastfeeding, so it's getting better. <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> that's disgusting. That's a disgusting. Well, that's a disguise. <laughs> Adam, um, I got to ask you something because uh, I know you're going to ask me about it uh, in eight about months. Eight or months, eight months from now. Um, uh, what do you believe these um, unidentified flying objects flying over the United States and Alaska and Yukon and Canada and Trudeau flying them down and China. Well, where the hell is that? What is all that? I was watching the news earlier today, actually. It's funny you mention it. It's shocking. You were watching the, the word. The word that I heard from the reporters was that they don't, they don't believe that it was, um, it was an attack on their national security. But they, so far they don't know. They, they haven't ruled it out, but they don't think it's an attack. So... I really what is what are, what are some of your theories? What's your original? There thought are too on many this? dishonest nations, and somebody's <laughs> playing a prank. That's what they're saying. That's what it is. <laughs> what 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 what? Chink in the armor. What the what? fuck, Poseidon? <laughs> you're saying you don't say that. What shit. are you saying, bro? Oh! <laughs> Did you see the little man run up the stairs and turn on the light in Poseidon's head? <laughs> that's right. That's clever. Uh, Adam, <laughs> yes, Guido. It's like the. Uh, the knee thing, remember? <laughs> if they were surveillance, Adam, where do you think they might come from? From a galaxy far, far away. From countries that are interested <laughs> in doing that kind of stuff, right? Like, but any country interested in doing that already has satellites. Oh boy! Um, so was it more important that they had to present to us that they were protecting, or the fact that there were surveillance? Because some you, somehow I believe there's a lot of weather balloons all the time. You ever thought of the possibility that <coughs> it's neither? You ever thought that it could be a uh, psyop so that you're distracted? I, I thought about, about say, that. Yes, I also thought of that. that. I said because um, they don't want to talk about what's going on right now in Ohio. If if well, it used to be that when they would talk about stuff like this, um, whether or not Hillary Clinton smiled at a meeting, uh, it would be because arm deals were going on. Did you right? see what happened in Ohio? What happened in Ohio? Yeah, no one saw what's happening. Uh, I heard about in, it. In, in, in a train got derailed, and there was a bunch of toxic chemicals. From what they're saying, it didn't spilled. get derailed. It, the feds blew it up. So I want to know why more did they about blow that. it up? <coughs> There's okay, toxins in the air and in the water. The fish are all dead. Okay, God so, damn. So the remaining residents of the town frantically packed overnight bags. Okay, so and they were forced they, to leave. Uh, journalists were arrested. It, bro, it's been chaos. You ever heard of chaos? He, I've been here's seeing my, a lot here, of people preparing here, doomsday. Some of those yeah, chemicals here's my, yeah. are dangerous. She's beautiful. He's not. <laughs> they nuked a town. <laughs> with a he looks like Cliff Clavin. US Environmental Protection Agency sent yeah, dude. It, I got it. I, I, like, as soon as you said it, I this is my... They really blew it up. My initial uh, thoughts were this. Wait, is it Breaking Bad meth lab? No. Train? No, <laughs> fuck that. Then I thought, oh, wait. They checked up what happened around the world when they made disease and how great that worked out. Let's see what we could do with environment shit now. Oh, they've no, been doing that for a while. That's what I think. I don't, I don't think it was uh, that kind of thing. I think it was just, I don't know what the reason was behind blowing it up, or even if it was an accident, but they're trying to cover it up because it's super lethal and dangerous. And so they're downplaying it. Like, it's what not are that these bad. journalists being charged with? Huh? Moida. If the government does it, nobody's The journalists? Nothing. You said they're being arrested for yeah. what? Nothing. For reporting. asking. Yeah, for asking. Just being detained, not necessarily being arrested. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Sorry. They're being detained. Very logical. But Just because they asked. Um, Were you born yesterday, bro? Very logical. What are you talking about? 
I know that in theory and in practice are two different things, but there's this thing called rights. If you get arrested, the, the police have to tell you, why are you arresting me? Come on, that's like law 101. Wasn't the, wasn't uh, fucking this jibber-jabber pro-vaccine mandate a little while ago? You don't give a shit about rights. How, no. how, why are you coming up with human it's rights now? It's not a question of giving shit or not. It's a question of having some common sense associated yep. with the knowledge. Oh, now you have but, common sense. Oh, now rights. you have common sense. But clearly what I'm trying to tell you is <laughs> your rights don't apply all the time because your rights were stripped from you a year ago. At the ago. international level, maybe, but not... And we're talking about the USA. We're not what the fuck about are you saying, bro? Yeah. You're, You're not talking about that thing in Ottawa <coughs> with, the, with the vaccination and all that? It wasn't just in Ottawa. The mandate was everywhere. I, oh, okay. Yeah, but that's You thought only people in Ottawa had <laughs> to get uh, vaccinated? Oh. No, no, I understand. Various parts of the country. I feel so no, bad. No, no, all the country. I feel terrible. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, how come you're twisting this around? No, what, I feel bad for... for a, a fucking... Vi- <laughs> what's the word? How does a pandemic have any relation to with, with, with a it train? It has a relation to what you said about human rights. You said people have rights. And what I'm trying to tell you is, in the face of the government, the rights don't, your rights don't actually matter. It's a joke. They've oh. been displaying that they don't give a shit about your rights when they don't want to care about your rights. I feel bad for uh, Vince Gilligan because I don't if know they ever have to do part two, this is better call Saul, which is the entire reason why you have to call Saul instead of this guy. <laughs> because if he was a lawyer in a TV show, that no, he'd never the be world a lawyer in a TV show. He would be perfectly cast as Adam. There's two type of actors. There's the ones that become the character and then where the character becomes them. Okay. And um, Adam would be great at always being Adam. You remember the movie Death Becomes Her? Very, very, very much. Uh, you're talking about another Sidney Pollock movie who we mentioned uh, uh, for Eyes Wide Shut. He yeah. was in it as an actor, not a director. I love getting uh, Guido in, in, in Directed by movie mode. Robert Zemeckis, featuring Goldie Hawn, Bruce Willis, and Meryl Streep with, I believe, the effects of Stan Winston... Okay, now I will say something, and you guys can tell me if you disagree with me. That's fine. Madeline, you're flaccid. Madeline. Okay, well, uh, if you can, just give me pills. But what <laughs> I was gonna, what I was gonna say was, I'm under the impression and the belief, you know, how we use words like um, America's sweetheart. Mm. I think that America's sweetheart at a moment was Goldie Hawn. Goldie Hawn, very much. And uh, I think the man of America and and the man who stole my heart. <laughs> Kurt Russell. I Russell? love that. Well, look, I love that couple, and they're still together. They're and still they have together. Never they're been married. I, I love them. I love these. Two. Isn't that the, the guy with a mustache? You know, no, big, big trouble. Yes, in and the uh, goal, hateful goal. eight. In hateful eight. Okay, he okay, broke, okay. He broke the guitar. Yeah. So him and her. Yeah. Uh, uh, and he, even uh, her daughter calls him her father, yeah, even he, though he is not her father. Yeah, he's a great man, Kurt Russell. Goldie Hawn, a great woman. Yeah. I heard did about you, this about the both of them. Did you know that? Because to me, they're my. They've never had anal sex. They, they, Good. To, to to me, they're my like America's sweetheart people. You know, like the, the used to be uh, Julia uh, Roberts. Well, they they always say Julia Roberts and the girl from Clueless or the no, girl no, no. Reese Witherspoon uh, forehead. Even, even Goldie Hawn's daughter. What's her name again? The um, blonde one. The one with the black crows. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Even her, I would put her as a uh, America's sweetheart before but, anyone else. But but did you know that together they actually had Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell? They have a son. That's beautiful. Oh. Well, they you didn't know no. they were in. You've um, seen him. You've no seen way. him in movies and in shows, and you didn't. What's know. his name? You, Adam something uh, <laughs> Russell, I guess. Have you ever? Have you ever seen? You like that? Uh? You, you watch Black Mirror? <laughs> love. Black I Mirror. love Black Mirror. Okay. I, I also black love cock. Black. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. Wait. Whoa. 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 No, but on I was gonna a, say a Black fe- Culture. A, a feminine. What's black. wrong with but you? His it's name a is feminine Black. Of course, we know you. We know you know. His name is Wyatt Russell, and you've seen. Oh my God! Shit! He looks like he looks like both of them. You know what's funny? He looks like fucking Kevin Costner. <laughs> That's what's even funnier. It looks like both of them. He um, he was in Black Mirror. Oh, okay. Yes, he was. He was in the episode the of... The uh, episode. Yes. Oh, my God. With a spider. Yeah, he plays a good hockey goon, too. In goon. You know what? You know what? I, he was in quite a lot face, of stuff. Go down. Looking yeah, at his yeah. face, he Hold on, f- fucking f- looks like half, half of them. <laughs> yeah, filmography. Go down to filmography. Bro, since 87, bro, he's Adam been in quite a few he stuff. He can't look at his phone. When he was a kid in 87, he was the orphan boy. Escaped from anyway, good for dad. him. Oh. So you've been on a, a, a Kurt Russell Television. Where? What's he been on on television? Law and Order? He's been in Law and Order. Godzilla oh, and the I Titans. I love that show. You love Law and Order? Because he, he learns how to get away. Uh, anyway, how old is this kid? Uh, Poseidon's age? Let's see. He's I bet you he's uh, 30s. 96. He's younger than he's me. He's your age. He's my age. Um... Oh, no, you're well, actor. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, Oliver Hudson, kid. Anyway, um, okay, so uh, Goldie Hawn. 
I like Goldie Hawn a her lot. Her big, um, her big solo movie after being featured in um, Rowan and Atkins Laugh In. Oh yeah, Kate Hudson, her daughter. Uh, uh, Rowan and Atkins. Okay, Kate you, Hudson you, is her daughter. Yes, of course, the model. She, she, no, the that's actress, Kate. Kate uh, you're thinking. I know. I know. Oh I know. yeah, the, I, see, the, I see it in yeah, your yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see Kate it in your head. When you're oh yeah, Kate, Kate Hudson's yeah. her daughter. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, um, Rowan and Martin's laughing. Rowan and Atkins. <laughs> Rowan Atkins. Rowan, Rowan and Atkinson. Uh, do you know when uh, in the Muppet Show when uh, Kermit would open that the sign of the Muppet Show and I've never watched and the then Muppet come show. out and say it's the Muppet Show. He would come out of the word Muppets. You would yeah and. Uh, like a Muppet? Just like a Muppet. I believe it's pronounced uh, Muppet. And, um, or Muffet. So she was a girl hanging out with a lot of guys. Imagine like Mad Men, okay? Mm-hmm. And she always made them laugh. Very much like a Suzanne Summers. On Who's Tuesday. this? Goldie Hawn? Goldie my, Hawn. my. This is how she came up. And my train of thought and yours did not go on the same tracks right. at all. Well, I'm telling you how wonderful Goldie Hawn is. And, yeah, Poseidon uh, thought she, then, she was taking hot dogs. She then. Hot dogs uh, taste great. Uh, oh, a movie okay. called Private Benjamin, which was her own solo uh, uh, movie where, um, no, wait, 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 yes, where she had to be soldier girl, like girl, Beverly Hills girl being in, uh, you know, the army. And then she had another movie called Wildcats, where she was a uh, coach of a really tough East L.A. football team. And, uh, then she made a movie called Overboard. Which is she's a rich woman on a yacht saying yes. Can I wanna you re- keep him close to the mic? It gets so yes, annoying. I want to renovate this. my uh, my yacht, uh, please, uh, Mister Man. And Kurt Russell, her future husband, comes in in overalls, being a country boy, with his ten sons and dead wife, and uh, goes to renovate her her boat. And uh, she unfortunately falls out of the boat, gets amnesia, wakes up, and he convinces her, no, 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 you were my wife. Oh. And it was a great movie called Overboard. That's kind of, uh, Poseidon had the same moves. Yeah. She woke up from a coke and was like, no, 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 no. I did not rape you. And uh, it's still, <laughs> as, as stupid as it is, uh, it, it still holds Don't up. go to the cops, they're going to think you're crazy. Then he was uh, in... Uh, what does she know? She woke up from a coma, this dumb bride. Yeah. B- big Trouble in Talking Little bad. China, which is the okay, uh, well, well, do, shittier You're doing a podcast. Version. You, you, you're just going down real lists now. Yeah. Uh, um, well, and then and Kurt Russell... Well, Adam, how do you feel? You would feel? know him as a Captain Ron. Can you close this? Adam, how I'm you not f- looking at it. It's just there just to make me look smart. How Adam, f- how do you feel about Goldie Hawn? She played in a movie, I think, with the Mel Gibson, I think. Eh? An action movie? Oh, my God. In yes. The, in the 90s, yeah. I forgot the name of it, but... Have you ever watched is Lethal Weapon? Is it something Weapon? Bird on a Wire? Maybe? Yeah, it is exactly Bird Very on a Wire. Very good movie. Thank you. Thank you. I, Vancouver that, movie. That's how I made yeah. the link with her. But do anyway. you remember the movie Barbed Wire? No, I don't. Barbed Wire. That was with Pamela... Anderson. Mm-hmm. No relation to Arn Anderson. Yeah. Or Louis Anderson. <laughs> or any and- other Anderson. <laughs> well, no, she has two her parents. Oh, yeah. yeah. There are other Andersons. Yeah. Plymouth Anderson, her dad. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I can't really say much because I've never really gone to that length to study various artists, uh, various actors. Who's anything. your favorite artist? It could be anything. It could be a musician or an actor. That's a good one. Um, I'm here to stump you. I don't know. Mick Jagger, maybe? What? I did not expect that shit. Hold How come? on a second. Hold A-B-S-A. the phone. I can't even see you as a Mick Jagger fan. This is amazing. You're, you're we, making. I'm seeing you in a whole new light. We might have to get demonetized now because we might have to play the damn music. <laughs> 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 what is your favorite Mick Jagger? What do you like about him? His confidence? His hair? His essence. The fact that he was part of a band that made millions of dollars. Yeah, well, so was Nirvana. So what? was the Beatles. So was Kim Jong un. The yeah. most catchy. So song. was Kim Mitchell. So was speaking to the mic because he's the most some of the most catchy song for like four decades. Which which he's the most catchy song. He made the most catchy song. Which was which what? one? There's so many. Okay, go well, name a few. Yeah, name uh, one. What's that song. Catchy. Now I need you more than ever. Let's spend the night together. Let's spend the night together. That's one. Oh, all right, well, another one. Do another one. I like singing. You out. know what Sigmund Freud said. <laughs> all right. What did he say? I want to hear another one. I want to hear another one. There's a song called I Miss You. All right. Keep going, Adam. I'm listening. That's a Paul Vela song. I'm listening. <laughs> He's got so many. No, no, but I'm listening to uh, I Miss You. Go. I've been holding on so long. I've been sleeping all along. <laughs> Girl, I miss you. Girl, I miss you. 
Um, you know, it's an odd mix. Adam liking uh, Mick Jagger, but yet, but it fits, yet it works. It fits, it fits so, well. so well. He has hair. He doesn't. Fuck do I? W- I can't wait till next Halloween. <laughs> Can we we're dress up? Yeah, Adam we're dressing Mick up Jagger up. in the next episode. Of, of course, Mick of course. Jagger. The other one's gonna be dressed as the Mick. It's gonna be perfect. <laughs> Adam, you know, you know, uh, I know a guy, Adam, by the way, um, that is really good at uh, um, impressions are, are once you see how someone else does it, they're very easy to do. And I legit know a very good Mick Jagger karaoke guy. And I'd like to go. I think we're going to go you, me and him to karaoke. And he's going to show you how to just let loose and be damn Mick Jagger. Oh, he lets loose. All right. Ass cheeks. How's uh, your How's your um, chicken dance? That Mick Jagger does does this? No, no. I don't. He doesn't strike me. Our, our little boy here, Adam, doesn't strike me as much of a dancer. You're not too far from the truth. <laughs> so, do you slightly dance? Do you like to dance a little? It was never a thing of mine. Okay, but do you like to do it? No, no. Oh, so you don't even feel like dancing. Pretty much. Yeah. Interesting. Adam, look. So I when the music... Hold on, Guido. You yeah, gotta come your tits. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, this is an interesting question. So when the music takes over and mm-hmm. you feel it and you're like, girl, I miss you. Don't you wob your head? Don't you move okay, your shoulders? Okay, in a minor way, but that's it. Mm. A Chilean I minor? bob my head, yeah. You, you but took the how do you bob you. your head? Okay, like a chicken. But you don't feel like maybe if you would let loose and really dance, you'd feel even better. Just let the music take over. It yeah. does just make you feel better. It does. Okay, but I'm just not... I've never been subject to doing it, so. Would you like us to help you do it? Yeah. I would love to make Jagger dance with you, Mo. <laughs> we, we would go we'll take you out to dance clubs. No, no, no. no. You don't have no, to no. dance with him. It's just to set up a scenario where he can freely enjoy the dance. Oh, dance, dance because, revolution. Because he no, could just play music and let him dance. Oh, he yeah. could have said uh, Warren Buffett because his answer was uh, because he was very successful and sold millions of dollars. But it wasn't necessarily because he was uh, Mick Warren Jagger. Buffett's not an actor. He's a businessman. But that's why I'm saying you said oh. Mick Jagger. So there's something about the physicality, the front man, the lead singer, the dancing, yeah. the aura of Mick Jagger that you um, that we want to explore. Like I, I, I love the fact that he loves dancing. It's interesting you brought up Warren Buffett. He's actually a person who also interests me. <laughs> I'd love to see him <laughs> dance. What interests him about you? Okay. Very simple. It's actually French. It's very a word. Simple, Buffet. Very simple principle <laughs> based on common sense. When you learn oh. about physics, let's say, you learn about Einstein, right? There's many physicists out there, but Are there? when you learn about the world of business, I think he's a pretty common name that is used as a common reference. Did you know uh, Albert Einstein aborted a child with his mistress? No, I did not. He aborted a child? Yeah. You mean she aborted the child that he had with him? You mean hey, aborted? The guy did nothing. You said boarded or aborted? I heard aborted. Yeah. Could have been boarded on, on an airplane. I don't know. It's <laughs> he was boarding it up because there was a tornado coming with Helen Hunt. <laughs> Adam? Oh, shit. This one's for you, baby boy. Yeah. This goes out to my lady. This reminds me of that song Forever Young and then from the Adam. 1990s. That's not it, is it? Adam, how would you move to this? This is a Queen song. No, no, we don't have the rights to This is generic, bro. This is a royalty. Feel it. Oh. Feel it. But how, how would you feel? How would you how express? Would you yeah, how would you what, express? How would you describe the ambiance where yeah, you are like during it. Is that but the, how would what, you ex- what do you do with your arms? Yeah, how do you your express arms, your arms, your legs. How do you physically What do you feel like doing? What do you feel like doing? I don't know. This I, is I, me. Reaching for the stars. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Reach up for the stars while you're doing That's how I feel. See, me, for example, if I'd look in a mirror to this song, I'd be wearing a long, like, open robe, and I would tuck my penis in between my legs and say, look at me, I'm a woman. That's what I would do. But that's my personal We were talking about music. You guys know that song, Forever Young by Alphaville? Yeah. Forever Young, I want to be forever. So how would you, this, how would you get it out of you? How would you physically express this song? Yeah. Uh, just, just don't don't think about don't it. Don't think about stop it. Stop thinking. Stop loose. thinking. You have to let your body just do the talking. Feel the music, Adam. Yeah, I am. I am. Okay, there are people that are better at expressing themselves than others. Yes. Well, this no, is no. what we're trying to do, Adam. <laughs> yeah, but exactly. there's no grade. There's no good or bad. It's just letting go. Yeah. Look, okay, right now, it may be just move left and right. Look, yeah. just move left and right like Axel Rose at a microphone. Oh yeah, that's good too. See? Does that feel better, Adam? It yes. feels better. You ever Nothing try with your hands, just letting your hands go and. 
I have. Try. Try. Go with the music. Though. Go yeah. flow with the beat. No, you, you like putting that alpha bill song on? <laughs> you look like you're behind Richard Just Simmons. Stop thinking about it. Yeah. You're in your head. You're not in your body. Let loose like a goose. Yeah, yeah. yeah how does your body feel? What's all about? Hey. Adam. <laughs> how does your... That's my favorite spot to get looked at. Adam, I'll... I'll, I'll your I'll, gooch? My gooch, yeah. Adam, look, I'll... I'll your boyfriend calls it the puzzle parking. <laughs> the parking. You pack puzzles there, bro. <laughs> I... I I I have spoken publicly to many many people, thousand people, two thousand people. Dancing in front of those people petrifies me more than you, Adam. <laughs> Adam so what I'm you. trying to tell you is that it's okay to be scared of that. Just don't hold it in. Oh, it's you're, it's called moving for pleasure. Yeah. Shout out to George Morrison, great teacher. Before a class, he would have us move for pleasure just to loosen up. You know. It's just, it's chill. Now, granted, we're on a podcast. People are watching that we don't know. Um, hey. I was about to say, you. I don't know if you guys picked up on this, but yoga, to a certain extent, is about relaxation. How yoga, yoga is a demonic done? art form. Stop it. It's, uh, it's, it's a lot of pain. It's, um, it's physical pain, and then while you're in stuck in that physical pain, it forces you to go to emotional pain. I heard that uh, yoga my, is the no tricks opinion. of the I'm devil. I'm only telling you, I was, uh, I was offered to go to a class, but I never did. You were offered to go to the Grammys and do yoga. Hey, you know what's acceptable to fart in public? Yoga classes. It's never acceptable. It's I was once at a hot yoga class. And people just and farting. And a gentleman farted, and I made a scene. Um, all kidding aside. That's funny. Um, That's, that is, yeah. you know what that is? That's a fuck. What's his name? The bald guy. The Cause Jew. I became the bad guy. Mr. Lee? And I was like, what are you fucking serious? No, 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 no. Uh, Larry David. That's a Larry yeah, David It's a Larry moment. David moment. But you definitely do see some wonderful Lululemons in those classes. Yeah, but he ruined it for me. So I, I made a scene and then I had uh, to leave. But, uh, <laughs> that's what's funny. He wasn't asked to leave. I would have loved. Shit his pants. I was I asked to leave. I would have loved. I was like, you're a fucking adult. Hold it in, you weirdo. I would have <laughs> loved for that to be filmed, actually. <laughs> Kidding aside about yoga, uh, and I, 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 I only, <laughs> I only talk about things if I experience them like a lot. So this what? is how I give my my um, my take on yoga. Uh, I started a yoga class uh, in uh, August. How many students you have? No, no, no. I mean, <laughs> partaking in one as a fat fuck in August, and I finished in May. It was twice. Sometimes three times a week, and uh, I had by the by May, I was never in better. Sh besides the uh, health, I was in a couple of years ago, but muscularly, I was never in better shape in my life. You know, shit. You I know, I wanna... I legit had shoulder like abs, everything. So you just. It, I and I was. I remember now. Hold you're, on, hold on. I need to stop right there because I believe what you just on the podcast was. You guys are not gonna believe this. When I was doing physical exercise, I was in great shape. But now that's a breaking news. Type I've of done, thing. I've done both. I've done do eight reps of this, twelve reps of this, eat granola. Do, I've done that, and I've also done part in a class. Now, during the yoga, I was still eating chips and crap, but I, I guess the intensity was so. You're in a push-up position for so long that. Drips are coming off your nose. Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, but I, I, I did it. My God. And uh, let the record show. Uh, shout out to Mar Benham and, uh, and the Coyote Dancers. Um, I did yoga in the same studio that Martha Graham, Martha Graham, Martha Graham taught in on uh, East 54th Street. I'm sorry about him. In New York? Yeah. Why do you go into these obscure details? Because that's about. how my stupid brain works. He's bro. manic. You know... All seriousness, though, your your crazy brain fits you well, in well, some weird way. That's yeah. what Rod Stewart said. Yeah. You wear it well. You know what else works well? <laughs> uh oh, it's the goddamn sh weird food combinations. <laughs> Today's top five and a half. Today's top five and a half weird food combinations that actually whoa, 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 work, 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 work. Adam, do you know what this means? This, this list that we're talking about. No, not about. this. The word you fucking. Wait, wait, do you know what, what it means? That uh, weird <laughs> food combinations that work. I'll have to let you enlighten me. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, have you ever had Czechoslovakian food? Of course. Okay, that's weird. 
That's no, not what I'm it means. kidding, Adam. I know. Look, I know. Uh, it's like d- those Doritos that you just had. No, no. Okay. If you were to dip them in like Jello pudding and think it's delicious, that's a weird food combination. You made a point. Yes. A girl once invited me for Thanksgiving, and she had fudge and turkey, and apparently it was a thing. Like I got chocolate a good fudge? one that I heard oh. an announcer on the radio say. Here we go. Putting pineapples on pizza is something some people think is like weird. It's a I, war crime. I, I, it's uh, actually it's pizza, actually I categorized as a war crime. But I, you I, I are, as, are, a, as a, a pizza enthusiast, you are a disgrace. I enjoy it. To Italians all That's over the I world. I will say something. I do enjoy pineapples. I love pizza and ham. Who doesn't love all that? Together, it's I, I don't agree with it. It's one. Yeah, ham on pizza is fine, but pineapples bro, stay the fuck bro, away, bro. It's invented in uh, Ontario by a Greek man. Uh, uh, was it Ontario and, and or was it uh, Vancouver no, or Ontario, BC? I mean, Ontario. Ontario. And uh, it's the number one most popular pizza in Ask Jessorail. It's like, Australia. look, 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 bro, I don't got a problem with these Italians, but if my girl brings an Italian home, bro, tries to mix it up, this is going to be trouble. It's the same story as uh, <laughs> Fettuccine Alfredo. Um, Fettuccine Alfredo quickly was invented because. Uh, this guy at Alfredo restaurant in Rome uh, had clients after he was closing up, but it was a nice table. He didn't want to say no, but he had no more tomato sauce. So he decided to put all kinds of Parmesan and cream and he invented Fettuccine Alfredo. Same thing happened in this um, pizzeria in Ontario. Oh, the guy uh, ran out of fucking The guy ran out of shit it. and he had all that and he threw it and on and they were pineapple. happy and he, he had invented it and that's it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's how these things like, usually happen. Greeks are very crafty, but I don't appreciate yeah. pineapples on Yeah, pizza. seriously, me neither. But sweet and salty, you understand. My wife likes sweet and salty. I'm not yeah. a sweet and salty guy. I like salty being salty and sweet being sweet. Those uh, chocolate uh, covered pretzels in the bag, those there are go. good. There you go. That's yeah. a weird mix. Uh, I just, yeah. uh, now, this year, I saw for the first time Ritz crackers dipped in fudge. And I bought them because I smoked weed. And they were wonderful munchy. Yeah. A Ritz cracker dipped in chocolate. Fucking A. Was it good? Fuck. You kidding me? Man, I like the cheese ones. You know, you, Ma, you like split the them up and you go. Them. You like it? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Those ones. What about the peanut butter ones? Are those ones, so you open them. Like, oh, what about oh. those little fish? Those little. Uh, I hate those fucking I hate, gold you fish. Know, why? Why is it that the girl in high school that eats them even bothers you? <laughs> That's weird. I, I looked up the chocolate pretzels. Like, <coughs> so if you enjoy eating chocolate pretzels, apparently you want to fuck your mom. <laughs> I, knew, I was. <laughs> I saw it coming. I saw it coming from a mile away. You bastard. <laughs> Best rendition I ever saw of um, the great uh, Sigmund Freud was in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure Part One. I really recommend. Is that, that the one with the uh, death? No, that's the one. That's Part Two. Death. Oh. Uh, the guy from um, Die Hard. Is that two? with Keanu Reeves? Yeah, yeah they all that's are. His movie, but yeah. but okay, okay. the first one is the best one. George Carlin, fucking, you know. George Carlin was in it. Yeah, he played. Oh movie. shit! Yeah. It's uh, how many movies has George Carlin been in, bro? <laughs> Man, it's George been Carlin. Back in the day, used to be in a lot. Well, of no, I saw him at uh, in. Um, he was movie, the, uh, in. He was in Dogma. Yes. You know what I love That's about the George last Carlin? Movie I saw him in. You know what I love about George Carlin? Everything. He'll say a joke, and then you'll go. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hold on, like it'll make you think. You know what I mean? Uh, are we going to go on a side tangent now? Because now No, I we're gotta, not. All right, okay, no we'll more Osanko! Re- remind me to come back to a good uh, on-the-road okay, story right, of just, George Carlin. What, what the fuck is here. this, bro? What the fuck is this, bro? Anyways. What happened? Number five. McD's French fries dipped in the milkshake. Oh, Who wrote this? Come on, you've done so, so I've never done this. Right. I personally think that... Uh, if you ever do this, the police should be called on you That's and you should be true. thrown in Who prison. Who wrote this retarded Adam, Adam, over there? Adam, Adam, you can, uh, but uh, it's been a trend recently and people have been doing it and apparently it's you, delicious. You I think it's a crime. You didn't smoke a lot of weed, I guess. I used to. Okay. You're telling me, and I'm sorry to say, I don't believe you. Th- this? <laughs> Never. You know what I used to do? In high school, I used to get high as fuck and then we'd go to McDonald's and we'd order burgers or whatever and then we'd order the McFlurry Oreo. But I had a special mix. Mine was McFlurry Oreo, extra Oreo, and chocolate fudge. But you stayed no salty mix. No salt in. Okay. Adam, you? Not something I'm accustomed to. So is this just a Guido thing? Oh, uh, come on. I can't be the only. The, 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 the You've done much. this? You've actually done Very this? Very much. Uh, so, uh, Recently. Yeah. yeah, you deserve, By the way, honestly. Just in my experience, because I've dated a lot of hot women, in my experience, a lot of hot chicks do shit like that. Bro, have you ever had a McDonald's um, a fry dipped in um, milkshake? 
No. Out of a vagina? What? Uh, excuse me? <laughs> In a 69? No, I'm kidding. That's disgusting. Um, All right, but, moving um, on. No, uh, come on. It's uh, but actually the, the, the I will the never try this. One, the famous one is not necessarily McDonald's. It's actually, it was invented with uh, French fries and a Frosty. Because a Frosty from Wendy's is that much better. That's where that really, uh, yeah. Oh. Okay, next, next, I think people who do this should be thrown in a bear enclosure. Oh, they're. Wonderful. I don't not agree with him. Um, <laughs> how about this one, Adam? You like it? All right, number four, peanut butter noodles. I have had this, and I gotta admit, it's, delish. Yeah. I will say something. I've tried them sober. Still smacks. Yeah, um, still fucking smacks. It was smacks, never. Bro. It was never a debate. Honestly, bro, the first time somebody told me about this was years ago. I think we were going. Uh, we went clubbing on Saint Laurent. I think it was you. Uh, I think it was you and some you other friends. You eat it out of a window. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and they did, go, "We did it out of a fucking window." Is there a problem with that? No, yeah, no, but what's I'm your saying, problem? That's how wonderful it is. <laughs> and and the guys go, the guys go, "Yo, let's go grab some peanut butter noodles." Mm -hmm. And I looked at them, and I wanted to strangle and stab everyone. And then, like, like, why do you guys have disposable income to be able to purchase <laughs> peanut <laughs> bro, butter noodles? Two box, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But also, this is very angry. The, so, <laughs> So listen to this. So I, I thought this was a travesty, right? And then like, they go- it's pronounced transvestite. <laughs> it still exists, uh, this place. It does. It does. It still does. So we get we get up to the windows on Saint Laurent. And, uh, Saint Laurent. You said it like you're Moroccan. Yeah. <laughs> and this Saint Laurent, one, frère. And all you see is this one Asian lady, Chinese lady, or How Vietnamese, or whatever. Whatever. Who care? Asian. What was she? Huh? Asian. Okay. Of the Asian persuasion. And uh, just a huge jar of peanut butter, melting the peanut butter, and then stirring the noodles, huge pots, and then like mixing them, and then just serving them. Yeah. Dude, it was so fucking delicious. I will, I, dude, I was like. like can I just yeah, say, he just did what he court? did. You went on a tangent that meant nothing. Like, you just said, bro, I went to this restaurant, bro. You're not going to believe this. They took the meat, bro. They were cooking it. First one side yeah, of the no, steak. Uh, then they flipped it, put the other side. That's just what happened. Like, you're yeah. just describing. No, uh, what you wanted to say was, this is after a nightclub. Yeah. And you, 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 it's almost like you wanted to turn to the I next. I wasn't drunk that night. You wanted to turn to the next person next to you and say, taste this and tell me this is not better than a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Taste this and tell me this is not better than being yeah. with a woman. And his boyfriend was like, okay. "I know." Look. Um, also, we could talk about a wonton in peanut butter, like peanut butter dumplings. Yeah, yeah, peanut butter dumplings that's, are fucking that's phenomenal. Sensation. Ever since I've discovered uh, this, every time I go to a Thai restaurant or a Chinese restaurant and they have this, like peanut butter flavored shit, I'm like, boom. That. But uh, do you know what the secret is to that? And I only learned this from you. Got to use craft work, working in a kitchen. No, um, chopped up shallots. What? What? The, the, you know the long um, eschalots? The, I don't know what the, the fuck a shallot is. The long freaking onions, man. It's a long onion. It's not a round onion. It's a long one. They a, green, onion, a green onion? Green onion? They put onions in You couldn't in, say in green onion? Uh, I call them shallots. Uh, that is the uh, uh, the secret to... Uh, peanut butter noodles? They don't put the, onions in uh, there, Yes, they do. Really? Yeah, put $1,000 down. All I know is the one on Saint Laurent La had... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just, just had... Uh, Peanut butter and noodles. That's it. And it was you didn't go to Vangay. No, my brothers did. At Vangay, did, did, did when your brothers were there, was there still the Moroccan? How cafeteria? does he know, bro? His brothers went there. I don't fucking know, bro. I don't know. They what didn't talk about the Moroccan because there was the Greek calf, uh, the Italian calf, the the cage, which uh, the, was the black calf, and uh, the, wait, the white wait, hold calf. on a second. Why were the black kids? <laughs> I swear to God, ask anybody who oh, was I've heard about in this. the nineties. I've the, heard about this. The Greek but why calf, were the black kids basically, in the, cage? The, the, the it was the, called the cage because it was a closed off room. Yeah, yeah it was closed off by the Next cage. Next to the calf, uh, it, it was brick. Yeah, it was I've heard brick. about this. It was brick shaped. They just called it the. They're cage. preparing them for the future. No idea, but but uh, uh, the the Greeks were right next to the blacks. <laughs> Uh, the Italians were in another building. Uh, uh, oh, that's intense, bro! And uh, the Moroccans—I didn't, I didn't run the school, bro. I've never been there. The Moroccans had the the front calf where you could you could drive in in a nice car. It was called the white calf. What? Ask, ask anybody who went to Vangy uh, so from ninety five to two thousand. We're in a cage. No, the Greeks were in the blue calf because all the chairs were painted blue and the okay. walls were blue. Makes sense. And next to the, on the way to the cafeteria where you buy those oatmeal cookies, um, there was a, a, a the closed off, uh, and that was the cage, was the black one. And, uh, and, and after that, after the vending machines, there was a bit of Chinese people. And then uh, it was the Moroccans. And they would mix the, um, 
the cafeteria with some Asians because the Asians also had, uh, you know, this is DVD never invented for five years in their car. You know, they had that. What is that? What kind what? of weird racist shit? Yeah, that was an Iranian accent. And then the second floor was all the artists, you know. The second floor was uh, photography. I'm a Vanier. photographer, man. Yeah. Fucking Vanya. <laughs> My brothers went to Vanya. Hated it. Because they were put into a, a cage. cage. The Arabs and the um, the Greeks hung out. Italians stayed with themselves, and I wasn't part of the Italians. Well, who are you part of? The Greeks. Mm. With uh, a shout Was out to Te- Terry Volis right now Was and Strifa. Yeah, why? Know? Why didn't the uh, your paisans accept you? Maybe because I was fat, lazy, and I didn't want to walk through the cemetery to go to the end calf because I didn't have to go to That's biology funny. and well, bullshit. Oh, they call it the end calf for the black. The Italians, the Italians were the end calf. Oh, okay, because I was like, okay, now it's the getting end. excessive, bro. <laughs> this is a bit. This is <laughs> wild, bro. <laughs> I was part of the. Like, I, I was like part you, of you know, you, you had my laughter, but now you had my concern, bro. No, it was the new N, N as in the okay, new Okay, okay, because you scared the okay. shit. Uh, but but uh, the, reason, the reason, just so you know, Adam, the reason why he wasn't allowed to go to the Italian cap, there was someone who started a rumor that he used to blow the dudes in the cage. No, they would want that. No, they would, they would, um, they would. Um, uh, bro, it's some the soprano shit all over again, bro. I'm, I'm with Vanya Italians, bro. Vito a fag. Here's what happened. This is what happened. Walk away like this. Yo, is that the? No, it's like Grasso down there. You know what I heard about Grasso, bro? bro? He's out in that uh, that cage. You know the end yeah, calf. Yeah. He's blowing the moolies, bro. bro. <laughs> no, it's a joke. It's bro, a joke. I'm never gonna and then forget. He's like, no, no, you guys aren't listening. I blew them away with my jokes. I'm a comedian, yeah. bro, bro. Get your funny cum breath out. I, <laughs> I am never going to forget uh, uh, the scene where the uh, where they're sitting at the table at uh, Bada Bing. And they get the kid that uh, that caught uh, the, the, Vito, the, the boyfriend <laughs> of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mero. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Finn, Finn, Finn. Whatever. Who cares? And uh, he's saying, and then uh, and then they, bro. I don't remember the, the the characters who said exactly, but and he goes, uh, so uh, oh, he you know, was blowing. He no. w- he was <laughs> he was getting uh, you know he was getting in the parking lot uh, by the security guard. No, he was the one that was, and then just <laughs> Polly Walnut's getting <laughs> his reaction. <laughs> Oh, model! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he no, no. He was the one giving me. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. But the reactions yeah. they did them so well. Bro, I it's was perfect. bro. Every it's time perfect. I watch that scene, it's perfect. I die, bro. You and, understand? And I just and then Tony, and then just uh, Chris, Christopher, just oh, <laughs> just ah, uh, it's per- a perfect scene. It's hilarious. Speaking of Christopher, um, Mike Christopher, Christopher, uh, he. Is a really good actor, and I feel bad that since Sopranos, he hasn't had like another, you know, um, vehicle. Well, I did see him on the Joe Rogan experience. No, 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 I know, I know. Apparently, I, made I, a shit ton of money from the Sopranos. Of too, course, so. he's gonna set for life. I'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. he's a good enough actor. You know, he wrote the movie Summer of Sam about uh, the killer Sam that listens oh, to dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The movie that they actually made. Spike Lee directed oh. it. He wrote it. Michael Imperio. Oh, shit. Good for him. Uh, he uh, he still has a theater. Well, probably after I don't know why. I know he's a serious actor, but he probably wrote it like this. That's taken too long. No, he didn't. No, he's Look, a cigarette. I, knew, I he's, knew that, that was, yeah. there was no payoff to he's that. A, and I let it happen. I'm he's, a a, he's a big... Um, uh, fan of the Ramones, he's into that music. That New York, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was an extra in Lean on Me. If you want to watch a, a movie about uh, uh, Morgan Freeman uh, being a principal in the school, because everyone here is bad, um, uh, you can clearly see Christopher being. Oh an extra. shit! Um, By the way, guys, after the Sopranos. I'm in 1987, bro, oh, he was like 20 years old. Back in the days. So anyway, he's a great actor and. Um, I've had the pleasure on, Adam, of sharing a scene with him. Adam has and, a uh, he's great. But a Adam, speech. Talk, go I ahead. wanted to make an inquiry. How the hell would you go from? Food you want to wake in an aquarium? An inquiry. How do we go from f- weird foods to what happened at Vanya thirty years ago? Oh, fucking shit! We're st- you're absolutely right. We're still in a top five, Adam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Next. All right. Uh, next. <laughs> Jesus, Michael Imperioli. I love this one. Number three, chicken and waffles. Dude. Have you had this? At the, they had that a lot at the end Oh, no, and no. <laughs> <laughs> at the cage? But you can God imagine damn. it. Uh, imagine Kentucky Fried Chicken with maple syrup on top of Eggo waffles. Would you eat it? Adam, I'm telling you right now, it's, it's, it's boner-inducing delicious. You don't understand. 
Last session, I use this word a lot. The word is appropriate. I just don't find it appropriate to mix those two foods. Whoa, I don't whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. <laughs> I don't Hold find... On. Listen, Grand Wizard. Uh, it, it, back in the day, that's what people used to say of your persuasion of color. Yeah. But I'm telling you, dude, you can do it. You're allowed, and it'll open up your world. Experiment. Allow, allow the mix. Listen, my version of appropriate is what I like. My version of appropriate if is no neck something hair. That I don't like to do, then it's not appropriate. Do you like I won't waffles? Do, it. do you like waffles? Yes. Do you like chicken? Doesn't matter. No, it does matter because you're the one who said it matters. <laughs> when I first heard about this, <laughs> at first I was like, "Yeah, that's weird." But then I thought about it. I love fried chicken. <laughs> I love waffles. I love maple you love syrup. Fatness, it's great. And I was like, yeah. "Hold on, bro, it's deep fried." And then I tried it, and I was like, this is one of the best fucking things I've ever tried in my life. It's like I just I, got it. I'm going to sum it up for you. The reason why he liked it is because he's fat. Yeah. Forget <laughs> everything else that he said. That's why I still don't believe his first one that he didn't like. Because I guarantee no, 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 no. That's French just, fry don't don't no you shape. dare. I swear to God, don't uh, you dare. Only because he hasn't done it yet. Because I saw those hotties. Have you ever seen the hottie with the soda at the ball game? She has a hot dog? Yeah. Full hot dog with a bun and everything, and she's dipping it in her soda. I'll go fuck it. yourself, bro. And These broads it. are demons. Yeah, but as you're eating that fucking steamy, aren't you going to take a sip of your Coke to wash it down anyway? Yeah, yeah af- no, shit. after I swallowed. Oh, Just God. like her. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I'm going to date myself, and I don't mean to toot my own horn, but to go into this uh, chicken and waffle story. Oh, boy. Uh, in 1999, I started uh, at... Uh, Myrtle Avenue and Willoughby um, Carlton in Why the um, in the uh, uh, Fort Green area of Brooklyn, uh, right near the uh, Adelphi Market, where Lil Kim got into a depaneur getting shoot up right there. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, there was a lot of soul food. Mm. Top of places, Reverend Al Shopton would eat at. Got curry goat, and uh, so I, I I tried a lot of that. It was wonderful. Soul food, a lot of biscuits, a lot of heavy food. Food that like it yeah. feels like a brick in your stomach. Yeah, yeah. It's and not for every day, Adam. No. And yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you get then, the you get the sugars, you get the beaters if you do that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah you get the beaters. Diet I, beaters. I, I've never heard a person make a link between a style of music and a style of, and food. <laughs> yes, correct, well, perfect. Well, what do you mean? I said the, no, no, not R and B. It is. I said the beaters. Soul food, like you know. Yeah, that's soul food. I just never heard those two words used together. What you've never heard? heard the term soul food. Of all the places you've worked at, how does that have to do with music and, and so? Food? Like he thinks that it's the food reason for the why soul. it's called soul, soul food is because of soul music because uh, black people also have yeah. soul music. He heard it and he thought of Wanda Sykes. Yeah, that's not. Uh, uh, so soul uh, food. In, in, it's in good Hollywood. for the. They call it soul food because uh, it's good for the soul, but not good uh, for the body. Fine. I'm just saying I've never heard quick, those two words in conjunction. Also, the people that invented it have souls, unlike and it's you. It's nice. Baldi. It's a nice set of uh, words. I just never heard it. That's fucking white. Uh, uh, quickly wrap it up on the chicken waffles. So, uh, in Hollywood, when I was there. Uh, there was a place uh, on uh, Sunset near uh, Gower Studios. Gower Studios, where Scorsese's Hollywood office was in the Go 80s, fuck yourself. Uh, was, uh, is, uh, looks like a Texas town. And down the street from there is Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, where it's like Apollo and Suzanne at 3 in the oh, morning after the... Fuck. But where they go. So, um, you know, uh, all rappers and shit till 3, 4 in the morning would fucking party it up and on Sunset Boulevard, Roscoe's yeah. Chicken. Not far from Zanku Chicken, which is their version of uh, Bustan. Uh, and that's the place that did the Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Uh, they are the, uh, uh, I think the, uh, I don't know if they invented it, but they're the ones that made it popular. Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, Gower Street, between Hollywood and okay, Sunset. Okay, bro, this isn't an ad. Shut the fuck yeah, up. Are you okay in the fucking head today, yeah, what bro? Is what's wrong on? with you? I'm just being funny. And Matt, uh, Matt, uh, Matt uh, all right. Well, Simon, what's next on your list? <laughs> oh, fuck, bro. Yeah, this one's yours. <laughs> Number two, cocaine and caviar. <laughs> oh, fuck, it does work, though. Yeah, it does work. <laughs> this, uh, this is basically... Kind of like uh, when they say that, it's not literally cocaine and caviar. Because that's what I thought. It's like... Um, Poseidon on Coke never went and said, I would like some caviar. Sir. No, it's basically like like to describe people who lead a life of crime and the, they peddle drugs and shit, but then like they have like, they do ultra luxurious stuff like eating caviar and so shit. It doesn't belong on this list. fish, right, guys? Yes, it's have fish Have you eggs. ever had it? Have you ever had caviar? Not sure. No. All right. It's eggs of fish. Um, it's not actually doing cocaine and caviar. Okay, and is it like saying nouveau riche? You know, this guy doesn't have Not class. even nouveau He's riche. Rich, but like it's, it's not even nouveau riche. It's hood riche. 
<laughs> basically. Are you nouveau riche, Adam? I'm classic pauvre. <laughs> <laughs> I'm vieux riche. <laughs> yeah, he is vieux riche. Yeah. <laughs> there was a, a, a line that De Niro said in the movie Casino talking about uh, Lester Diamond, um, James Woods. The uh, He's got to get fitted for a suit. He doesn't even know how to buy himself a good suit. And it, it made me think of that. Like, um, a lot of people get really rich selling drugs, but do they even know how to spend the money properly? Well, no, they can't really spend it also either. But I'm saying, do they even know what... Yeah, that's what... It, it's, you it's, know what it's the thing is? It's kind of like... Remember we were talking about um, our friend, uh, the Baldwin over there, about his degeneracy into gambling? It's kind of like that. You don't know when to say no and when to quit. So 100%. there are some... I knew some successful criminals that they're no longer successful because they died. So you reach a certain limit where you should take your winnings... And just be like, I have enough for me and my family and my kids to survive. It's a few minutes. I could buy a I mean? building. Yeah, but you know what it I is, I should bro? go to yeah. another place, start fresh. I have all the money. Though. The kids can grow up, have their own jobs, live somewhere nice, Hawaii, whatever. And they don't do it. They get addicted to the power and then they get shot. Said Walter White. This is why, you know, cocaine and caviar but that's it. was a it's nice a, addition. It's because it's true. I do know people that uh, were in a, a, a life of uh, distribution that are no longer in distribution, but they bought uh, apartment buildings yeah. and they're fine now. And uh, it makes great TV, cocaine and caviar. Yeah, but uh, uh, let's talk about actual caviar for a second. I have, you I have really experienced funny. it. In so my head, I, but, yeah. in my head, I am laughing because I am thinking of Poseidon on coke, <coughs> going crazy in a club, and then going to the bartender and be like, "Sir, I would like a little bit of your <laughs> finest caviar." <laughs> and the guy's like, "We don't have that." He's like, "What a shitty strip club is this, bro?" <laughs> I um. <laughs> I'm, I'm the that would be funny. I have something funny. That would be a funny Go ahead, go ahead. If you're in the distribution business, um, I can't see how anything would go wrong if you just... Uh, it's called waste but management. If you distribute cocaine, you might have a legal issue. <laughs> what the what? fuck did you just he, fucking he, he say? He was going somewhere, but you um, was it accidentally said, spoke... if you're distributing caviar, I don't think there's too, pro too many problems with legality, but cocaine, that's another story. <laughs> Actually, yeah. you could have serious legality yeah, problems with the, with the, with the Russian mafia who it's runs very the expensive. caviar market. Yeah. Yeah, 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 dude. You can't just be anybody and uh, start selling caviar, bro. You're going to get your legs broken probably harder than cocaine, bro. This is pure beluga. Where is Kalishnikov? Yeah. Yo, speaking of something else that's expensive, uh, like beluga, bro, whale vomit. Okay, bro, you realize that was a joke. I no one's ever going to pay you. Listen. <laughs> Go fuck it. Whale Listen vomit? I saw it coming. But, uh, you saw it coming so and you, puking? You your no, no, no. <laughs> Bastards. You guys are tag teaming me today. Um, like the belugas. <laughs> So, uh, wait, wait, whale wait, wait, vomit. wait, wait, let me get this straight. Whale you vomit. were tag teaming him, but were you sucking or were you fucking? Uh, I was fucking. You're like an Ohio lady cop. You're just taking it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you Google whale vomit price per kilo, Google that shit. You don't want to Google it? Not I'm at all. sure it doesn't no, exist. No, nothing of what you said it enticed not me to put my it's, arm. It's like Bro, saying, I'm going to Google it for you. It's but like I believe you. Just go on. We don't need... No, no, no. Like, it's so fascinating. Adam, while he's Googling nothing, whale I'm going to talk to you about the taste of caviar. Price. Yeah. Disgusting. How it, much does it cost? I don't know, but, but roughly. Not that bad. It, 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 what, what's the difference between tarama and caviar? Okay. It's the same... Same thing. Disgusting. I'll rephrase but my question. What kind of restaurant okay. can you go to to get it? Any, any, steakhouse? any restaurant. Any yeah, steakhouse? sometimes. Okay, look. Have you ever had forty thousand uh, dollars a kilogram? Okay, for vomit, but for whale vomit. Let's okay. get into it. I've, it has I'd medicinal. Like it like it's very illegal. It's a very illegal business. Okay, for you to puke and sell it. No, no, for to to to, to go collect it, you got to have licenses and shit. It's usually uh, perfume companies. Oh, that why uh, it smells nice. It's no, no, the, that's what they use they, as an ingredient they in want all the, perfumes. The, they want the acidity. It probably makes some kind of yeah, 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 uh, chemical yeah, yeah. I reaction. God. Pretty sure we but could use something else. They're, they're fucking crazy, these people. But Go the, ahead, Guido. The, whatever you're going to say. Have you ever had uh, Chinese bubble tea? Yeah, it's sad. Okay, so that, that, that idea of the explosion of like 30 different things just like uh, in your, it's a bunch of little fish eggs and they each burst with uh, seaweed burst. flavor when you bite into them. It's just very fishy. Okay, Adam, you want me it's to give very you a human? Fishy. It's, you it's, uh, it's an acquired taste. I okay, understand you, why rich people eat it. You ever been behind on the rent, Adam? And then in order to buy a couple of days, you got to see your landlord. The explosion in your mouth, that it's like that, okay. but it's it's more fishy. It's not that good. Good point, eh? Yeah. <laughs> and depending on what he's been eating, 
Salty yeah. or sweet? I don't like it. I I find it disgusting. I find it disgusting as well. Yeah. I can't stand ta- even tarama salata. I can't. Yeah. I can't. I can't stand that. I don't like um, yeah. salata. Is I hope this is not an unusual question, but you go to a, a steakhouse and you order steak. Well, you know it's this big. Yeah. How is a caviar like a meal or is it more no, like a no, no? Caviar usually comes as an a, as you an appetizer. You eat it with bread and stuff. Oh. Yeah, it's in it's in cans. Yeah. And then yeah, you, you you put on crackers, bread, whatever. No, Honestly, can. Adam, this much is yeah, it's canned. No, they don't give it to you oh. in cans. No, no, no. You no, no, buy it's it canned. In it's canned, but like they don't bring it. Like them. they won't serve it to you in a can That's at the restaurant. Asking, yeah, yeah. yeah, but it, it comes in cans though. Yeah, okay. And how much does it I would cost pre- on the average? I would present it on like a. a I don't know, bro. I'm not in the bucks. caviar and business. It's not expensive. I would throw caviar on like a endives. On what? Endive. What's an endive? It's like a long leaf. Yeah, exactly. That you could spread it out on. Bro, what is it with your long leaves today, bro? But even Greeks, they put it on. Uh, it's That's dry pita, and you yeah. pick it up and you eat it. That's yeah. it. The way they do it today. I don't know. I don't. I like. I don't. I can't stand it. Like I don't eggs. Like, I don't like the taste of it. It's like, too fishy. Like chicken eggs, I love. I could tell you that it changes over. My taste buds have changed over time, and uh, it'll happen to you. No, I won't. You know what used to? I'm not saying you're gonna like it. Almost though. make me want to puke, but now I can eat no problem. Broccoli. Huh. I love broccoli. Yeah, I like broccoli. Put some like lemon on that. Bitch. Much. Yeah, bro. You, you know boil that shit. I prefer cauliflower. Nah, for it is real. The, you it a is cauliflower smart, gang? It's the smarter cousin. Oil, yeah, put some <coughs> oil and some lemon on that shit. It's He's delicious. right about that. Yeah. You can actually... Anyway. Oh, but you know what? Deep fried cauliflower is fuck. Okay. <laughs> fuck with the deep fried. fried <laughs> but uh, even raw. Wonderful. Um, we forgot oh, about I this boil one. It. That's why I wrote it. I boil it. Raw. <laughs> it's raw. Uh, <laughs> All right. So do a double half after that one. We can go back to this. We're throwing this because we forgot about it. Wait, hold on. This is going on here. What's next? <coughs> okay. This one is basically we had to say it. It's like an homage to where we're from. Huh? Number one. Gravy. Fries. You forgot cheese curds. Yeah, you bastard. <laughs> you literally put gravy fries, and then you put equals poutine. It doesn't equal poutine. Yeah. That's, uh, I saw it, but fries. I decided not to like, say anything. I like that. No, you didn't. You decided that right now. Yes. Because I Wait, passed what? it to you. No, no, I read it. Hold it. on. Uh, yes, because I wanted him to shit on you. You guys are such assholes. That's not poutine. Gravy and fries is not poutine. It's he should have just written. Fries. I told him write poutine, and he wrote this. So I saw you write this, and I got angry, and I'm like, you know what? Let him get shit on. I stand corrected. You're absolutely right. We forgot the cheese curds. And yeah. interestingly enough, it has to be curds. Um, it has to be curds okay. made of cheddar, not mozzarella. Sometimes restaurants are yes. lazy and they throw mozzarella. Here's the and thing. mozzarella is delicious. I will say. Yes. Poutine, when, put, at yeah. a first glance. It has to be the squeaky cheese. Yes. <laughs> when you first look at it, it I will admit, up until the age of 15, I would see poutine. And I'm like, bro, it looks like somebody vomited on sounds fries. Sounds disgusting. Okay. And it's not just poutine. When like, you saw that, were you like, how much are they selling that for these <laughs> perfume companies? Uh, ten, <laughs> have 10 beers and then have And uh, So here's the thing. So then uh, in high school, somebody convinced me to try it. A black dude, kid? I was, uh, no, this Latina chick. And dude, I was I was hooked after that. Yeah. To her and to the poutine. And, uh, oh, you would always associate her with that delicious taste of the poutine? Uh, no, not necessarily. Um, in America, it's very popular. It's called cheddar cheese fries. And what they do is they put the Michigan hot dog Bolognese on fries with cheddar. It's called chelly cheddar cheese. Fries. Yeah, that's not a poutine. That's a but I'm saying yeah. it's their version of what, what this is. Yet they would say that's disgusting. for some reason the combination of gravy, cheese curds, and fries is yeah. is do, out of this world. Do Italians consider a uh, calzone and a pizza the same thing? Yeah, they just say uh, make me a pizza. Ah, oh, you know what? Ah, fold it over. Is that what they say? They don't say calzone. That doesn't exist. They just say. Uh, Oh, is that when they want to eat it to go or whatever? Fold it in half. So calzone is not a real thing. That's no, it American. is, but it's um, uh, it, it, it would probably be called uh, not a piadina, but um, in Italy it would like in Italy you can't ask for a calzone. Like, yes, like, you can. Oh. It's just ripieno. You would probably say uh, you know, make it uh, make it uh, filled up instead of. Uh, so it, it, hey, they don't, they don't fill you up all right. A separate thing. It's a pizza. You don't necessarily order a calzone. It's a pizza pocket. You know where I would have a calzone? Not at a pizzeria, but uh, a walking like near the ocean. I'd have it off a truck. It's separate. It's You won't go to the Michele. Maybe. No. You know who sells calzones? IGA. IGA has calzones. But like, you what know. IGA? Uh, IGA. IGA. Yeah. Yeah. International uh, Grocers Association. Yeah. Uh, Is that what it stands for? It exists in Australia My too. Ega, I didn't know that. It exists in Australia too. Actual. You're IGA. pushing it today. What? <laughs> Nothing. Well, I'm, I'm a big fan of supermarkets. 
You know they actually we have fried chicken at. Um, Yes, have they you do. Tried so, the yeah. potato salad. <laughs> it's not bad. I have the potato <laughs> salad. <laughs> so listen to me. He's giggling like a girl right now. Um, so they got the fried chicken. They got the fries. They got everything, you know. And they got the pizza section. And they got the the lasagna, all that shit. And they have calzones. Now I seen it. I not tried the, it. it was not, not the not frozen bad. section. You mean where you go buy? Cool yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, actually yeah. next to the frozen. But well, next, no, it's uh, not. next, next to the th- th- anyway. Uh, do you like the cold bakery? Only red pizza that they have. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I haven't that, eaten in years, but hold I on. love it. It's tabernacle. When I was a kid. When, yeah, I, was when a kid, I was a kid. too, in high school. I defined when I was that a kid, as tabernacle. Hated it. It's fantastic. Hated it. You it's don't understand. Fantastic. With a passion. Yeah. You know why? Because I felt deceived. No, no, no. But I want to. Because there was no cheese, and I love cheese. Yeah. And I was like, what is this deception called yeah. pizza? Okay. It's just tomato sauce. What, what is it called? What, what I. Uh, 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 <laughs> It's bakery pizza or pizza rosso, like um, yeah. it's it's p- olive oil, tomato paste. Yeah. It's it's cold. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! And it's cold. Gesundheit. It's it's like a a. I've only seen it in Montreal bakeries. It's in the states they would call it a grandma slice. It's like a thick crust. Pizza, yeah, yeah, but yeah. It's only red with this specific red tangy sauce. Yes, that's spe- Detroit but, style pizza for some reason they're calling it. No, no. But dude, I, no, no, well, no. Maybe, maybe you're right. Actually, I because uh, I, I maybe, maybe that is what it is. Because I don't. Know. Know. But you know what's fucked up? It says people who get angry about it that don't like it that much want to fuck their moms. Ah, Freud. But uh, <laughs> I, I can He's tell you where this fucking <laughs> Austrian Hungarian. You're you talking know. about deep dish pizza also, where they had like but the 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 the, the thing with the like the, Chicago, the, the, the dough, crust. and then they had the tomato. But, but, Let's talk about the tangy sauce on top. It's so good with olive oil. Yeah. And your uh, hands all greasy after. It, and you're just like, it, which it, one are you talking about? The red bakery pizza that we That's all. That's just the red yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you like it. I love it, bro. Okay. Yeah. I remember. I have fond memories. Like I think yeah. about it yeah. and I'm like, oh, I want to try that. But I haven't eaten it in so many years. But I remember mm. it was so simple and delicious. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can um, because you know what? It's like focaccia bread. It's a specific uh, recipe though for that sauce, that do, tangy sauce. Do you know when? Yeah, that sauce. Do you? And there's pieces of tomato in it. Do you know? Yeah. Do you know why I think we would eat it? It was during Easter time when you were supposed to be fasting. You couldn't have meat. Perfect. Oh, perfect. and cheese. Yes, so, yes. That perfect. makes a lot so of sense. Perfect. Milton was very strict. He wouldn't want it. So he but would always. Yeah. We, we would have that. He would get that shit for us. And then I'd be like, uh, "Bro, you're gay. God doesn't care if you're fucking if you're gonna eat, if you're gonna eat <laughs> meat." In and my he's like, yeah, he does. I made tomato sauce for pizza many times. This specific recipe, I don't have it 100. percent My friend Marco Mancuso, his parents, two generations, had a bakery. He knows how to make it. I always wanted to do it. It's actually the pizza marinara. That's what that's called. You don't understand. The real word for it is pizza marinara. Delicious. Uh, As a kid, uh, I, w- no I couldn't stand it because I yeah. felt deceived. But now as an adult, bro, don't put and that shit in front of me. How often do you f- do you find it? When was the last time you ate it? You get it Every from Metro IGA. IGA no, it. no, no. They, they I do. I've seen it at Metro. I, I've they seen do. it at Kushtard. Yeah. I see it all the time. I don't buy it. I'm curious the, if it tastes the same. For the specific <laughs> reason that I know I'm going to finish it within the same but day. But do you know for yeah. a spe- do you know you for don't a even fact warm that it up. Taste the way it used to taste. Yes. Yes. And dude, yes. hold on. The recently I ate it. It was uh, you know during the holidays at work. Pizza, during yeah. the holidays, the no. managers they buy uh, they buy us food. It's a little wet. Yes. And and it's and and the the bread is she as bought, white as this paper. Yeah, <laughs> bro, you don't understand. I walk into work, bro, and I see she had bought the big one. She had bought it from like an Italian place. It was huge, Oof. and it was in a container, in a plastic container that you go, you know. I'm like, bro, I ate half of it. At work. At work. What about your other employees there? Bro, you don't, bro, I ate half of it. I don't know who ate you the other half. But uh, many people. You don't do cheat days. <laughs> you, you really stay away from cheat days. No, no. I've ha- I'll give you an example. Like I have, um, uh, like I had a Milano sandwich, half of one last week. Okay, you actually. I started to eat a bit of bread. Okay, yeah, uh, uh, I got to Bro, look at me. Yeah, I you saw be me before. Yeah, I gotta cut it. Look at me. I I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart. Try not to. Yeah, and now I'm gonna stop again. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, because I want to bring one of those bastards in. Oh, you know bro, who's yeah. the expert of that? It, actually, Johnny. Uh, that's not Adam. That sat here once. Um, Patisserie Tilmont. Yeah, uh, Tilmont, which is near like uh, Saint Michel, uh, East End. There, near the. Uh, have you ever been on a street where it looked like it used to be a McDonald's? Holy fuck! He's just telling us locations of different stories. Just doing ads. It's delicious. Yeah, what's, what's wrong with you? Because I remember they had the best are they red you, bakery bro, go pizza. To the next ad. I think no, people are really gonna like the half. I wish they did. Wait, and stop them. advertising, Adam. Why would they pay you if you're doing it for free? 
Good. Adam question. Adam likes this one. Adam Lanza. Oh, oh that's uh, terrible. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. And the half shit covered dick. What the fuck is wrong with you, Adam? Is that the one that you put on the list? Yes. No. No, no. <laughs> yes, no. yes, yes. <laughs> you ever tasted a shit covered dick? Yes. Oh, he has. Wait, you have? No, I'm just fucking with him. What's wrong with you people? Am I dreaming? Because of the whole porn thing, ass to mouth. Yeah. Shit what do you mean? We talk about any porn thing. No, no, you'd think uh, that. No, because you'd think like dick and shit doesn't go, you can right? Tell the but guy who's defending you know. it is the guy who wrote it. <laughs> yeah. <obviously. laughs> um, I was going to say uh, stinky cheese and fruit. Same that difference. Was, that was my. Uh, Same Gorgonzola difference. And it's a banana uh, with stinky <laughs> brown cheese, bro. There's, there's a mix that I don't like that people like. I don't like watermelon and cheese. Dude, I'm going to make you so angry right now. Watermelon and mustard. No, that's that's punch you in the face. Yeah. But watermelon balsamic vinegar, I've actually like balsamic glaze. You know when it gets sweet on watermelon. Why? Pretty good. You know what I vegans know. have started doing? Sacrilege. They've started having sacrificing water- babies to save no, watermelon steaks. Like a, a fake steak. A fake I, steak. Okay. They take it. No. They deep fry it. They put butter and everything, and they eat it like a steak. And like, oh, it tastes just like a steak. No, it, it doesn't, doesn't taste, taste just like a steak. I'm sure it tastes good, <laughs> but it doesn't taste like a steak. Yeah, I don't like it when they lie. No, I, uh, I, I've had that, um, that, that fake meat that uh, scared the. Yeah, I've had Beyond it meat. Was pre- it yeah. was uh, pretty damn close. Look, I like vegan stuff, but don't, don't try to. The, what pisses me off about the vegan shit is don't fucking fry watermelon and try and pass it off as steak. No, yeah, don't, don't you know give what I mean? me chicken. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chi- this is chicken. Like, bro, if what you're trying to say is don't piss on my leg and tell me it's raining. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Thank sausage. You. This is sausage. Yeah, yeah. suck uh, my no, dick. I, tell I, me yeah, it's suck fucking. Suck my sausage, bro. Yeah, tell me it's shiitake yeah. mushrooms, bro, with uh, steak spices. Then I'll, I, I'll, I'll enjoy the shiitake mushrooms that in, taste like steak spices. Yeah, uh, in you the, know what I mean. In the vegetable category. The mushroom is gold. Like fucking Mike uh, cooked for us uh, some vegan meal, bro. It was fucking delicious. Bro, yeah, because he told us he didn't yeah. lie. He's like, this I've is a had, meal. I've had. Uh, because if I, if somebody tells me chicken wings and I bite into them and it's cauliflower, I'm fucking getting violent. You're gonna call it his flower. The eggplant yeah. is the steak of vegetables, and uh, I've had um, three mushroom tartare. Not like a, a salmon tartare, a steak tartare, three mushroom tartare. In the, in the hood, they call it sensational. Triple mushroom really? tartare. Sensational. There are wonderful. And, and I'm of thinking course. with Greek cuisine, it's the same. A lot of people think Italian cuisine is like oh, spaghetti and meatballs and little stuff. No. It, the real, like in my family, we ate meat once a week, man. My mm. mother, you know how many vegetarian Italian Well, your family did, did, you didn't. <laughs> but, but you know what I mean? There are wonderful <laughs> vegetarian <laughs> dishes in. What was in, that in sound? <laughs> In Greece, um, <laughs> what was that sound? You both <laughs> made <laughs> you mo- both made weird sounds in that. I have munchies, Adam. Yeah, you I'm and I have a too. date after this. Nice. <laughs> Who are you guys dating? I'm Themselves. taking Adam uh, to my apartment. I'm going to tell him oh, I have to um, speak to him about Why something really important together? to catch up. But really, I'm going to help. I have him help me um, tidy up. Adam, let, you know what? That let means. me ask you a question. You have a five and a half. You're going to suck an no. adult cock. Hey, Adam. Um, I uh, might have to leave town for a little bit. We talk, spoke about it. Let's not get into it now. But let me tell you. Go ahead. You could stay at my place while I'm gone. Oh, that's nice. Adam, you get some sunlight. You get your window, own bathroom. Own bathroom absolutely, shower. Absolutely free. Not a penny. Just that's what I want to hear, baby boy. How can I get some some? Uh, no, you might you might get you might neighbor. get you might get uh, regular. Sex my visits. my brother uh, uh, dropping off things for you. Like not food? Who the hell I am. <laughs> he'll come in, he'll say, If his brother knocks friend. on the door, don't let him in. Take cigarettes, take cigarettes. I'm leaving. Guido's boyfriend, here, take this. It's yeah. toast. That's it. So um, It's toast. Yeah. It's just, it's just a it's a bag of bread, and he's ripped out the entire middle of the bread, and it's just bags of cookies. I'm I'm like, I left you the good part, man. I, I'm... I'm I'm going to look <laughs> at left you the good part, Maybe Kustard has that stupid red pizza. We're going to have it. We're gonna have it oh, tonight. Fuck, yeah, it's Speaking all in pizza. Do you remember when McDonald's used to serve it? Yes, pizza. Uh, McDonald's pizza honest, was great. Look, McDonald's pizza was delicious. There was only one problem with it. Took it. too long to it make. It took too long, so yeah. they had to cut out the menu. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I was one of the lucky ones. I got to have it before they discontinued yeah. it. I clearly well, remember it. We all said that we had it. We all yeah. Yeah. no, but even no, because I was I was born in '93. 100 percent of this room ate that pizza. But yeah, <laughs> I could describe enough the crust. Was actually quite oily yeah. in that McDonald's. Yes, 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 yes. And it yes. had like bubbles like a sponge. 
It wasn't, yeah. Uh, Pino worked at uh, one of the first places. Anyway, whatever. Does Pino know how to make one exactly like it? Because I, I miss that taste. I bet you he remembers it. I know there, I think there's like two states. Bro, Virginia you know, you know what fucking it. smacked, bro? McDonald's cake. Yeah, I've been. I, bro, I, think, I don't think I ever birthday. had that. I don't, bro, I don't remember wonderful. anything about it. It's the greatest birthday cake. The McDonald's birthday, cake, birthday in the world. cake, bro. Yeah, terrible for your health. It's what they what you eat in. What heaven. was in it? Just like oh my god, it was chocolate, like angel food cake, chocolate dude. icing, yeah. chocolate and icing. That's it, chocolate and icing, bro. bro. It's how it the has, best way you could describe it, a cake tasting like McDonald's, where you noticed, fuck, it tastes like McDonald's. You know when you eat McDonald's, it tastes like McDonald's. Even the cake reminds you of McDonald's. I haven't had McDonald's. In I so think many a bit years. better than your McCain uh, cake obsession. Okay, listen, bro. <laughs> it is better. I will. Kill it is you, better. Okay? I will stab you. Both I'm, in the I've thing. had McCain birthday had Mc- cake as my birthday cake. I haven't had cake. McCain cake in a long time. More than but once. That was so <clears throat> addictive, bro. I would eat. I could eat an entire tray. Yeah, I yeah, would yeah. put McCain super uh, fast cake bro. as A, and I would put the McDonald's cake as A plus. People bro, will agree with you. Me. Don't have you ever? You've never had the McDonald's. Cake? I don't think so. Did you never have a, a birthday party at McDonald's and when you were a kid? Uh, Myself, no, but I've been to. But you've been to. You've, you've never had, had the cake. cake. You just forgot. I can't it. remember. Yeah. It didn't stay with me like the pizza did. The Fuck. cake tastes like Ronald McDonald's. You don't steak. understand, bro. I think the first time I tried that that uh, that cake, I think I must have been five. Yeah, bro. But it's this. I ate it. I became six. Bro. My, <laughs> you, 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 my you. mother was like, "Let's give some pieces away." Bro, I got so pissed. No, you, you. I got angry, rage. So no, I, I, the <laughs> taste of McDonald's that have stuck with me that I, I haven't eaten forever, but I remember. I remember the smell and the taste of the fries. I remember the Big Mac and the sauce. I had one yesterday. I remember the. You know, I've never had a bi- uh, Big Mac. That's oh, gay. the pickles. I remember. That's the, gay. I remember the <laughs> McExtra. I don't know if they still have it. The McExtra. No, McExtra? but that one no. had lettuce, tomato. I remember McDouble. McExtra. I remember the quarter pounder. The quarter pounder was good too. Mm. Uh, I remember what a burger like. I the, remember the, the fish fillet. What is the best like. one? The cheeseburger is the best. The pizza. I remember. I really. I honestly. I can't remember the cake. When I, I remember McFlurry, that was delicious. Yeah, still when, is. When I was completely off uh, all sugar, alcohol, everything, what I craved wasn't necessarily what you think I would crave. Cock. Besides, I, I know you would it. say cock. <laughs> I didn't say it. I, um, um, we the, said it. That was Fem- your feminine tranny <laughs> cock. What? Unclipped. Um, Good, just the way you like them. So, I, I thought home was in the end cap. Uh, what I ended up missing was, uh, of all the alcohol, uh, Guinness beer. That's one. Interesting. And right. uh, sticky white. Come. Give me two. Of come. <laughs> no, sticky white rice. The rice oh. that you get in Chinese food, that was the starch I craved more than baked potato, oh. I mean, French fry. Oh, it was weird how my, it was that that I missed the texture. The, May I throw something the, out there? Uh, uh, sushi, for example. You know, like when you have the roll and not the sashimi. Like these, these are uh, weird. You most likely cannot find anymore. It's been years. Uh, how long? I, I finished high school in 2005. What year are we now? 2023. So like 50 years ago. Yeah. 18. When I was younger and mm-hmm. in high Calm school, down with your math. in high school, it was still there. In high school was still there because I used to go with my buddies when we used to go to the theater there, the Cineplex Odeon. Are you a fan of General Tao Chicken? I am. The very best General Tao Chicken that I've ever had in my life. Hands down. Anyone who tried it agreed with me. St. Catherine Faubourg? No. There was a Chinese restaurant. Who the fuck even knows the name? In Kodanesh Plaza, downstairs in the food court. Bro, the very best. And they'd give it to you with broccoli and steak and whatever. Okay, but this was in the food court. It wasn't uh, Cam Shing. No, no, no. This was in the food court. Okay, okay, okay. And it was when, you know how Poseidon says it's smacked? Yeah. Bro, it's bro. That was the most delicious pigeon rice, whatever the fuck they were feeding me that you've ever had. Yeah, yeah. It was the greatest General Tao ever. And I'm fairly certain it's not there anymore. I'm willing to go check it out with Poseidon just because I would love him to try it. And we film it. Yeah. Our we, version of that at Evangeline was what's that mall next to the school? Normandy. Normandy. There was a General Taup, there it's was a there. Chinese place. It's still there. It used to be picnic. I don't know how it is now, but at the time, yeah. it, the because they used to add chicken. Yeah. Like they, they used to they, add because yeah. it was very good. I, I still eat The there. best burger I've had, or one of the best burgers. Wait, what's the best burger I've had? had? I think it's been in Germany. So I think they invented it, bro. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. I th- uh, uh, my father keeps saying it was invented in Hamburg. I don't believe him. Uh, because it, it's may, my it may have, been. It may it have but I, you know what? It's my father, so I don't believe him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it does make sense, though. It does make sense. Well, yes. it, is, it is the most. But American because it's my father, I don't believe him. It is the most American snack. I think hamburger over anything. Apparently, it was invented. Uh, Hot dog or hamburger? What's the most American oh. snack? When Germany gave up the Hot war, uh, and uh, the Americans were in hamburger or whatever, like uh, they, I don't know. 
to feed them, whatever the fuck. Uh, so but one people of, have been eating meat and bread together for yeah. millennia. Yeah. Well, one of the best hamburgers I've ever had was uh, when when uh, I got trapped in Germany. Yeah. In, you, uh, didn't, you didn't get trapped, but go on. You came on curtains, but go on. Uh, look, man. There's no trap. I had man. revenge. I had to take it's revenge. Okay, go on. Well, fuck, what was that? Munich. Munich, uh, because the fucking uh, doors shut in front of me, and the lady didn't want to fucking let me go through. Uh, Is because it because you stole a painting from? No, Kim no, the John layover, the layover was their fault. Mm. Uh, I think the platform was broken or some shit. That's the excuse they gave. And then buses had to come get us, and I had to wait an hour for the bus. Anyways. I would never board a bus that Germans are forcing me to board or a train. It's true, eh? Never. So, uh, 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 contr- I enjoyed my time. In so, Germany. anyway, so I, I that, well. that's when, uh, that's when. Uh, uh, finally, I missed my flight and I tried to leave and yeah, they tried to yeah. stop me and ask me how much money you got this time. And I, anyways, um, I get to the the hotel bar that Lufthansa paid for and I just ate and drank and I ha- or I ordered this burger. It was just... This feels very convoluted. Just tell us about the burger. It was The best burger he had was in Lufthansa Lounge in German Airport. No, no, no. That? At the hotel. <laughs> okay. It was, uh, had nothing to do with Lufthansa. <laughs> Near Munich. It was a, but you're taking us for this. It was a regular burger. <laughs> it, was a, it was a regular he burger. He wants us to savor it like he did. Yes. <laughs> oh, he's not saving because he's not talking about the burger. I'm savoring Germany and missed flights. And there was an egg in it. Oh. Okay, that's and then, extra. And then, and then the, the waiter, when he fried brought egg. it... Fried egg. And I, I pushed on it. And then the oozes. So it was a perfectly um, 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 boiled egg where a soft, runny egg. No, no, no. Uh, uh, fried. A fried egg that had fried just egg. the right amount of uh, yolk. To me, that's disgusting. Yeah. Hold on. It's and I had very, it. I can't um, eat runny eggs and outside at, of my at, house. At first, at first, I was like, oh, I don't know how to feel about this. But then I had it. I like runny eggs. Reminds and it was so of, um, fucking delicious. Oh, I've been chasing that burger yeah, it reminds me all over yeah. the world where I go. They have that here. They have it here, but it does not taste the same. I, I'm I don't know if it was, you know why? It's actually it was because the, the egg yolk. It was the egg yolk. The egg yolk from Europe is not it as, as not, uh, fake tried as rec- it is here. Yeah, I've tried recreating it myself. Yeah, do you buy organic eggs? Yeah, buy uh, biologic. Buy bro. organic. Yeah. You're yeah. old enough to buy Your own stuff, biologic yeah. eggs. Yeah. I buy organic. That's Always spend do. money on good butter and good eggs. But I can't eat eggs. runny eggs in a restaurant. I get disgusted. No. What? Wait. Yeah, I can't have runny eggs. So hold on. You don't do brunch? Outside? No, no. I can't have runny eggs. They have to be oh, firm, Oh, like boiled. the schnott. Bro, that's so good. Not like the schnott, just the so yolk. I don't like steak, so you don't need dinner, bro? That's insane, bro. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> no, runny egg, Sigmund Freud symbolized that if you like runny eggs, it you means like you like You want to bang your mom. Yeah. You like cum. Oh, okay. It's just, it explodes like No, no, cum but for real, them. runny eggs outside of my house, I, it's disgusting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for me, everyone's got their thing. I can't. Everyone has their thing. Yeah, everyone has their thing. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned General Tao uh, uh, in the states. General T S O. You notice. General Tso. Tso. Here it's uh, really? T-A-O, and uh, there it's T-S-O. I can't decide which general. <laughs> also, I've, al- I've <laughs> One also of them is his brother, one's the other brother. You know when, whenever, whenever he laughs at a joke, I know it's not good. You have I to add that sauce. It's uh, add the vinegar to it. That's how you make that tanginess. Also, oh, yeah. I've heard it referred to in the States as General Chang also. General Chang. Yes. Chicken. But then there's also the Chinese, the Vietnamese, and the Mandarin. Here we're Cantonese, right? Yeah. Here it's the Cantonese. I have in no idea, in New bro. York, it's the white boxes, Mandarin. Yes, There's way yes, too many yes, E's. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, different, different Chinas. Singapore chow mein fun is great in New York. I miss the fried noodles and everything. I love uh, that shit. Singapore. Oh, oh, fried noodles. But I can't hold the cold. They're terrible for you, right? Actually, fried noodles. Yeah. Very bad. My, my just before anything going, fried actually. My yeah. just before going back on uh, sugarless and uh, you know I've uh, never had be s'mores. A Singapore, a Singapore. You never had s'mores. Never had s'mores in my life. Okay, s'mores you would enjoy. Oh, I, I, here's the thing. I've, marshmallows? I've always wanted Chocolate? to try it. You never had the chance. It's crap. I never had the chance. I just, I yeah. see it. Every time I see somebody try s'mores or eat s'mores yeah. on TV or whatever. It's, cr- it's, it's. But uh, I've never uh, had the chance to try it. It's them. food so crap. The first time I ever had it was summer camp back in the day. You were yeah. sleeping there and we, we did it over the And fire. you got molested? Uh, before the s'mores, yeah. Okay. But then they're like, don't tell anyone. <laughs> Here, have some s'mores. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that you've had s'mores? I'm not sure. You ever get molested? A <laughs> uh, cabin boy. Um, that was good. I've had s'mores. Remember when we used to have fireplaces on the island of Montreal? My parents what? haven't used their fireplace in 20 years. I heard you're not allowed. You're not allowed. Yeah, on you're the not island. allowed. If you go to Laval, anywhere off the island of Montreal, you're allowed a fireplace. Here, you're not. Well, can you explain why? Yeah, I yeah. Uh, uh, island of Montreal can't burn. Uh, yeah, you can fire uh, burn nope. fire. Outside of the island, you can, which is fucking dumb as shit. The but the fr- reason why you can't burn is environmental, or because it's, the a, it's a municipal law. Yeah, bylaw, as they say. This so is so stupid. But there's apparently, no reason apparently, it, it um, years, yeah. cyclists they can't see well. But every like, other city on the planet, if, you if, can do this. One hundred percent. If my dad wanted to keep the fire, like we literally had a hole 
chimney like Santa Claus. Put why of uh, in winter time you wood. could cook a steak in the wood. A, okay. Is this a new one? Now, if you want even anything close to a fireplace on the island of Montreal, it has to be gas. It has to be sealed, closed. Um, it, uh, th thousands or, of dollars to upgrade this chimney to have the closed the gas powered uh, gas, shit. Yeah, sounds a, a burning uh, and it's not uh, and, and it's not real wood. Burning firewood not happening. Yeah. Um, I just I just want to understand the reason. I grew up with a Stupidity. fireplace in my uh, living room. I've had better steaks in my parents' living room in the winter than I've had in the summer. Because Thank you for answering my question. Yeah. I would like to know the reason. I grew up... Ha like, I, I, I said stupidity. It's so Montreal well, being Montreal. Uh, it's Montreal. There's no, no, so what reason are they giving? I think it's uh, environmental, like he said. Yeah. Which is... Anyways. Um, you know, because of that, the first time I ever had <laughs> roasted marshmallows... Was uh, as an adult, like, like uh, a year and a half, a year ago, when I started dating my girlfriend and she lived in Quebec City, mm -hmm. she would start a fire at night in the back yeah. and we would roast marshmallows. I tried it for the first time in my life. Why don't you bring graham crackers, crackers and Hershey and oh, make yeah. a s'more? Because I'm a fucking idiot, bro. What do you want me to tell you? All right. Uh, I think I think we're going to close on that. No, Delicious. wait, wait, wait. I'm going to keep plugging out different things. Different places. Bro, I swear to God, I will shove this water bottle you up your ass. Bro, All you right, patreon.com <laughs> slash Pantelis. Patreon.com slash Pantelis. www.iamposidon.com. That's for Poseidon. Guido Grasso JR on Instagram. Guido Grasso JR also available on the Facebook. Is he ever online? Nobody knows, but I have seen him from time to time on the Instagrams. Our man Adam will be in a jail near you. Hey. A pornographic conservative. The pornographic conservative yes. is online. It's just deep combination, eh? I have to post on that account. <laughs> you can find him hanging around the NCAF. Vanier <laughs> College in Montreal, Quebec. All right, that's it. Eat, eat ass. <laughs>